Hello everyone, it's Dr. Vasquez, your doctor in criminal justice, bringing you another video on criminal justice topics. So I have a story where a man would shoot a child in the head for playing outside and being loud on Saturday, August 5th, 2023, around 940 local Chicago time. A man by the name of Michael Goodman, 43 years old, would come outside with a handgun and approach nine-year-old Seravi Medina and shoot her in the head. Prior to this incident, Seravi and her father had gone to purchase ice cream. It was only a couple of moments when the father had made contact with some previous friends and he saw the gunman approaching. He yelled out, that is my daughter, and that is when the gunman shot Seravi in the head. The father continued to run toward the gunman and struggle with him and try to take the weapon from him. During the struggle, a round was let off and he shot the gunman in the face. Shortly after, the gunman was taken to the hospital and is in critical condition, said a B, unfortunately succumbed to her injuries. What makes this matter even worse was the father is a single father. In 2018, the child's mother was lost to gun violence as well. Stay tuned for what comes next. Outside of her own home, a space where any child should be safe to run and play. Eight-year-old Sarabi Medina was gunned down Saturday night. An innocent, innocent girl who did not deserve that. Police responded to the girl's Portage Park apartment near Cornelia and Long around 9.40 p.m. to discover the gruesome scene. She was in the world. Renee Aquino witnessed it all. He's in town from Florida and is an old friend of Sarabi's father, Michael. So on Saturday evening, he and a couple friends stopped by to say hello. He comes up to me on the passenger side, got the window down. Like I said, I'm on crutches. I got one leg. So I walk through the window, he gives me a kiss, I give him a kiss. Soon after, Aquino says they heard a gunshot. He tells his daughter, matter of fact, grab your scooter, come on, let's go, you're going to go upstairs, go upstairs. She wasn't even like halfway towards the doorway. When Ben says, my child, this guy just came out the building, he's got a gun in his hand. But Aquino says before they knew it, the suspect was within steps of the young girl. When he raised the gun up, Mike seen him, he said, that's my daughter. My star running towards him. He walks up to her and shoots her right in the head. That's when Sarabi's father tackled the suspect. The gun went off again, and the offender was shot in the face. On Sunday, police were still at the scene, searching the suspect's apartment and removing evidence. Sarabi, who loved ones say went by Bibi, was getting ready to start fourth grade at Rheinberg Elementary School. And that girl was funny. I talk, we would crack up with her all the time. She was, she was a great kid. Sadly, her life was taken in the same way she lost her mom several years ago by gun violence. Something needs to be done. Something has to change. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is a portion of the video where Dr. Vasquez has three questions, three concerns, three things that he wants to discuss with you. Also, at this time, I would like to invite you to comment, share, and subscribe down below. This really helps out this platform. A lot of my content is blocked since I cover matters that are sometimes tragic. Thank you. So the first question for you that I have would be, why was this man free? It came out in the story that he was known to police. He was known to be violent. He had a history. So my question is, why was he free? For me, sometimes we let individuals slip through the cracks. Uh, this And this could be one of those incidents. This will also be another incident where you just give an individual too many opportunities. I know people are against this three strikes law, uh, but sometimes it's needed. You know, I don't, I don't know the individual's criminal history, but again, he was known in the community, known to be violent, known to be aggressive, uh, known to have issues with the police. So again, why was this person free? And the second question that I I have for you is should you move if you live in a high crime area i see a lot of tragic stories just like this one where they might live in an area that's prone to high criminal activity gun violence um in the video it says something has to be done uh chicago is at an all-time high when it comes to violence so my question is should you move um and for me personally i, I and for me it's a no-brainer right if it's the safety and security of my family um i will move and that doesn't mean you know whatever i have to do to put them in a better situation that's what i would do personally let me know what you think down below and my last question for you be 
how do we get justice for Sedemi? Um, she was taken way too soon. Um, the gunman, like I said, is in critical condition. He was shot in the face. But how do we get justice? Does that mean this individual sentenced to life? Um, what does that look like for you individually? What if, what if you were the father? What would your justice be if that was your daughter and she was no longer here? Uh, that's a difficult question for every individual. It's going to be different. Some people believe in street justice, um, you know, and there's nothing that can replace your daughter. There is a GoFundMe that has been created, and I provided the link for you below as well. All right, everybody, this video came as special request as one of my subscribers brought this to my attention, and that is your video for today. Thank you.